Windows 11 has done it again. Another update, another handful of improvements that somehow make everything slower, harder to find, or just more annoying. And today, we're fixing five of the worst changes Microsoft forced on your PC, and putting things back the way they should have been from the very beginning. And by the way, this is just part one. I've got a whole part two coming with even more fixes. Classic start menu, old system tray, old volume control, all the stuff that Microsoft buried. So make sure you watch this one to the end, and part two is coming up fast. And before anyone asks, yes, some of these fixes require a third-party tool. No, none of them cost a dime. We're using Explorer Patcher an open source tool that puts you back in control. Welcome back everyone, Grumpy Sysadmin here, the guy who spends way too much time undoing Microsoft's features so your computer can actually make sense again. Grab your coffee, grab your patience, and let's get your PC back under your control. But before we start, let's go get Explorer Patcher. Open your web browser and go to the following link. I'll also leave it in the description for you. Scroll down until you can see ep underscore setup.exe and click on the link to download it. Once downloaded, double click on it and install it. If you get the user account control message, go ahead and click on yes to continue. You'll see a message in the lower right hand corner about downloading symbols for OS build and the version you're using. This is perfectly normal and is required for the tool to work correctly. It should be followed by another message that the download was successful. Simply reboot your machine for the changes to take effect. Now you could just restart Explorer Patcher, but a clean reboot never heard anything. Oh, and one other thing. To open Explorer Patcher, there isn't an icon in the start menu or on your desktop. You simply right click on your taskbar and go to properties. That brings up the Explorer Patcher interface. Number one, bring back the real right click context menu. Let's start with the most infuriating change in Windows 11, the new right click menu. You know, that tiny simplified menu that hides all your tools and forces you to click show more options like you're unlocking a secret level. That extra click adds up every single time. It breaks half the apps you rely on. 7-Zip goes missing, WinRAR hides, and Git vanishes. PowerShell shortcuts, gone. Well, good news, you can fix it instantly. Open up Explorer Patcher and go to File Explorer and enable Classic Context Menus. Done. No reboot, no drama. Now your old, full, fast, reliable right-click menu is back. All your tools, all your options. No extra click, no Microsoft nonsense. It's almost like menus should show the actual menu. And hey, if you like bringing sanity back to Windows instead of letting Microsoft carpet bomb your workflow, hit subscribe. Makes me slightly less grumpy. Number two, move the start button back to the left. I swear the centered start button is the biggest we wish we were Mac OS move Microsoft has ever pulled. Every Windows user since 1995 has learned one thing. Your start button lives in the bottom left corner. It's muscle memory. It's instinct. And then Windows 11 comes along like, just kidding, we put it in the middle now. Have fun. Well, we're undoing that. Go ahead and right click on the taskbar and choose taskbar settings. Next, go to taskbar behaviors and set the alignment to left. That's it, your sanity returns. Your mouse goes where your hand expects it to, not wherever Microsoft decides to shove things this month. Number three, bring back the Windows 10 taskbar. Now let's fix something Microsoft absolutely butchered, the taskbar. No labels, no ungrouping, no custom toolbars. Right click only gives you taskbar settings. It went from being one of the best designed parts of Windows to a Fisher price toy. With Explorer Patcher, you restore the real taskbar. 
open up Explorer Patcher. Go to Taskbar and set Taskbar Style to Windows 10. Restart Explorer and suddenly your Taskbar is a Taskbar again. You get right-click menus, toolbars, show desktop, cascade windows, a proper clock, proper layout, and ungrouping support. In other words, functionality. Imagine that. Number four, restore the full File Explorer ribbon. Now let's talk about File Explorer, or whatever Microsoft's turned it into. They took the classic ribbon, you know, the one with copy, paste, rename, layout, sort options, and replaced it with this. A tiny strip of symbols with half the commands hidden in drop-down menus. Clean? Sure. Convenient? Absolutely not. But guess what? In Explorer Patcher, go to the File Explorer, Control Interface Style, and select Windows 10 Ribbon UI. There it is. The real File Explorer. All your tools, all your options, everything where it should be. And bonus, it's faster. Windows 11's animation-heavy toolbar actually slows Explorer down. This one fix improves speed and usability, a rare combo for Windows 11. Number five, disable the recommended files. And finally, the infamous recommended section. This giant block of random files and documents cluttering up your start menu like Windows is spying on your habits and wants to show them off. It's ugly, it's intrusive, and no, you don't want your recent files flashing in front of everyone who walks by your desk. Let's clean it up. Click on Start and go to Settings. Personalization, and then Start. Turn off Show Recently Opened Items, Show Recently Added Apps, and Recommendations. And just like that, your start menu is no longer a public display board for your entire computing history. Choose your own pins. Choose your own layout. Windows should feel like it's yours, not Microsoft's suggestion box. So there you go. Five Windows 11 changes you should make right now to take back control from the chaos. All free, all easy, all using Explorer Patcher in one place. And this is just part one. Part two is coming next. Start menu fixes, system tray fixes, old volume controls, network flyouts, top taskbar, and a bunch of other stuff Microsoft buried for no good reason. If you don't want to miss it, hit subscribe. And as always, stay grumpy.